Hello and welcome back. And that is right, today I want to talk about USB 4 and network attached storage. And in this video, we're going to talk about why it's a game changer, we're going to talk about how it's a game changer, and three, how things are going to change long term because of it. But before we go any further, why the big deal? So, USB 4 connectivity on NAS is relatively new, but the majority of NAS solutions that I talked about here on the channel actually have USB connectivity in one shape or form. So what's the big whoop? Is it just speed? No. What it's about is about how you interact with your NAS. The majority of users up to this point, when they are interacting with the NAS and exchanging data up and down, they are doing so via network protocol and, more importantly, network connections. Your 1GBE, your 2.5, your 10GBE, ultimately network or Ethernet connectivity that can span down the road of copper, span down the road of fiber. However, in Throughout the last five years or so, a new and evolving connectivity has started arriving on NAS, and that is taking advantage of Thunderbolt NAS connectivity. That means that a NAS solution can have your normal network connectivity, but also has little Thunderbolt ports. And really only QNAP has this part of the market, more on that later on. But although other brands have come out, Promise in the distance, and a few other brands of, and uh, QSAN as well, tried to introduce uh, Thunderbolt NAS solutions into the market, they kind of popped and fizzled, whereas QNAP has stuck the landing significantly. And their most recent solution here, the TBS H574TX, catch your name by the way, has two Thunderbolt 4 ports on the one on the front, one on the rear, and also has a 10 GPE connection. It means that unlike, say, a Thunderbolt DAS solution, DAS, direct attached storage, or LIS, locally attached storage, instead of only one user being able to access all of the storage inside, this device allows a 10 GPE connection, a Thunderbolt 4 connection, and another Thunderbolt 4 connection. Three active direct users, all of which that can enjoy a gigabit, a uh, 10 gigabit performance numbers with this system. Great stuff, right? Well, yes and no, because up until recently, when it comes to Thunderbolt connectivity, really only higher end Intel systems and Mac devices actually had Thunderbolt connections. Thunderbolt 3 opened the door a little bit, but not a vast amount more than that. And you may have noticed, as mentioned earlier, no other brand seemed to integrate Thunderbolt connectivity on their systems. Now this is why USB 4 connectivity is a big deal. A number of you may already be aware that USB 4 and Thunderbolt 4 work together. And unlike the strict licensing and certification that is wrapped around Thunderbolt and Intel, it is less restrictive in USB 4. For example, although Thunderbolt connectivity in recent years was something you largely only ever really found on Intel powered systems, there's actually a number of different AMD systems that have USB 4 connectivity and therefore Thunderbolt connectivity. But it doesn't stop there because when it comes to Thunderbolt connectivity being arguably something of a monopoly because of QNAP dominating the field and no one else really been able to challenge it, that's not really their fault, it's just the way they've thrown their investment. It has to be said that USB 4 connectivity is by no means such a closed spectrum. For example, there are DIY NAS solutions and OS3 NAS solutions like those from Ustar that are rocking out the gate with USB 4 connectivity that allow USB 4 to network connectivity. You can directly attach to some of these devices via a Thunderbolt 4 or a USB 4 port on your client Windows or Mac system. Moreover, you have solutions like this one. Now, this is the previous generation Acer Store Flash Door series, but the newer generation one that's still in development is rocking out the gate with a number of different things, including dual 10 gigabit connections, but it's also going to arrive with USB 4. So we have to assume that if not at launch, then at some point, Acer Store, who are almost certainly already exploring this, are going to allow USB 4 direct connectivity for that 40 gigabits per second. And it doesn't end there, because then you have solutions like this. This is the Zimmer Cube from Ice Whale. It's got six hard drive base, it's got four M2 NVMe base, it's got 10 GPE, and it's got a couple of PCIe slots. But it's also got two Thunderbolt 4 connections 
and the Thunderbolt 4 connect, um, uh, USB 4 slash Thunderbolt 4 connections both allow for 20 gigabits connectivity over the network. We tested it, we connected to this device over USB 4 network connectivity, IP over Thunderbolt, and there it was. It appeared, and we had those speeds. We were hitting two. Um, 2,000 megabytes per second or 20 gigabits per second read performance directly on this device with no switch. This is what I mean. USB 4 is opening the door in a way that Intel handled USB um, uh, Thunderbolt 3 weakly enough that no one could really get in with network protocol. And as we're seeing further investigation by third party OSs like Unraid to explore Thunderbolt network connectivity and even preliminary stuff happening on TrueNAS, Thunderbolt 4 and USB 4 connectivity primarily is gonna open the floodgate to much, much more convenient ways to exceed network direct connectivity on these devices that we've not seen before. Now, that brings us back, of course, to QNAP. What is happening with QNAP? Because QNAP would be foolish to sit on their laurels and rely on Thunderbolt connectivity when it is looking increasingly that thanks to USB 4, that Thunderbolt NAS accessibility is going to become increasingly affordable. How are they going to approach this? Well, one of the ways in which they're approaching it with a device like this is integrating things like SMB multi-channel in conjunction with Thunderbolt. We saw it during Computex and they are rolling it out as we speak. The ability to have a system here that yes, has that 10 GPU for one user and has a couple of Thunderbolt connections for other users, but what you can do instead is heading to the settings menu, go into SMB multi-channel, enable SMB multi-channel, trunk all of those connections, and then have a system that can connect one rig with two Thunderbolt cables into this device doubling up the available bandwidth, doubling up performance, and on M2 NVMe systems like this, massively upscaling the throughput of your upload and your download on this. On top of that, once you start trunking in other connections like the 10 GPE, thanks to SMB multi-channel, and let's, let's face it, predominantly Windows environments taking advantage of that on either side, you can excel beyond USB 4 and Thunderbolt connectivity and open up the bandwidth and the performance even further. Now, and then back to this side of the table, we also have to acknowledge that USB 4 connectivity on NAS is by no means open shut. And actually how that USB 4 support at the CPU level is being handled differs wildly from brand to brand. Now, a lot of the say Alder Lake series and newer arrive with USB 4 connectivity in one shape or form, but some brands, again, we'll come back to Zimmer Cube there, rather than allow for the 40 gigabit a USB 4 connection, it's actually halved and shared out because they need PCIe distribution and the lane distribution, I should say, to be a little bit more diverse across the system. We've seen other smaller scale, uh, little OS free solutions like this one, that instead of having USB 4 connectivity, they've channeled that USB 4 connectivity into USB to uh, ne uh, PCI network adapters that allow for an easier access to 10 GBE. Those devices, instead of allowing for USB connectivity, have instead utilized that pathway internally to allow 10 GBE, which is great stuff in the 10G sense using a switch and more, but it means it's those users are not gonna be able to take advantage of that direct USB connectivity. So as I say, this is still not open shut, but there's no denying that in the world of private server ownership, USB 4 connectivity is a game changer. Things are changing, and I think brands like QNAP could stand to do a lot more with what they're doing with Thunderbolt, given that these brands are gonna to start to catch up. Are we ever gonna see a Thunderbolt technology? Almost certainly not. Some of the CPUs they choose to use, they're never gonna go down that path, and they've never been much of a DAS stylized uh, direct connectivity anyway. But still nonetheless, what do you guys think? Maybe there's something I've missed out. Maybe there's an element to this story that you'd like to add. The comments below are exactly for that. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. There's links to all of the reviews and products we talked about today linked in the description. Use them, ignore them, it's up to you. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.